In today's video, we're opening the new Quarter Century Duelist Box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. We have the new, I was about to say improved, but I guess, I mean, it's kind of like they've done this style before, but they've never done this box, so it's not really improved. Quarter Century Duelist Box, it's a 25th anniversary release from the OCG, so it is a Japanese cards. But this box is extremely cool because it could potentially contain the Quarter Century Rare Dark Magician Girl. So yeah, obviously that's gonna be pretty high because people love Dark Magician Girl, Quarter Century Secret, so it's a high rarity. Comes potentially inside these, not every single time. So I can't really read this, I'm just showing you guys. Maybe if you can read Japanese, there you go, but I cannot. So I think there's nine packs in here. This box was sent to me by Yugi Market, so go check them out down below if you wanna grab some OCG product. I will have their website, it's an affiliate link, so if you buy anything, I get a little cut of it. So go check that out, go see if you want anything there. Quarter Century Duelist box sent to me by Yugi Market. I'm excited to open this up, and I will be giving away every card we pull in this, including, potentially, Quarter Century Dark Magician Girl. To enter that giveaway, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we get that Dark Magician Girl or not? All right, enough rambling. Let's get to it. Let's open this thing up. I can't read it, so I just got to see what's inside. It's a new product. There are not a ton of packs in here. There's only like nine or something, but there's still a lot of cool stuff we could get. So let's see. Let's open this up. Okay, that's a cool presentation. If you guys remember, there was a box similar to this, the uh, Prismatic God box, I believe it was called. I spent way too much money on that. I bought three of them, spent 500 bucks. I spent so much on that box that people that watched it six months a year later thought I was clickbaiting them by putting 500 on the thumbnail, but actually, I actually spent $500. So this time, thanks to Yugi Market, we did not spend 500 bucks. So very cool presentation here. We have the Flame Swordsman, Insect Queen, Buster Blader, Exodia, Dark Magician Girl, different art. We get the Duelist Pack one, which I know people don't like as much, but it's still a very cool quarter century. We have Barrel Dragon. We have the Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. We have the Harpy Lady Sisters, Gate Guardian, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Lava Golem. Okay, Dark Necro Fear. I was like, what is that? XYZ Dragon Cannon. We have Blackluster Soldier, not the Envoy of the Beginning, just the Blackluster Soldier. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Valkyrion. That's Silent Swordsman, right? Is it, is it Silent or is it the other one? Or is it Mystic Swordsman? I'm gonna go Silent Swordsman. We have Toon Summons, or, yeah, Toon Summon Skull, Obelisk, Slifer, Ra. We have the Garlandal for whatever his name is. Why do they love this card so much? He's on all the old school stuff. I guess it was a Yugi card in the anime maybe, but that's a card that like you never see. Silent Magician, we know that one. Genzo, Dark Magician of Chaos, Relinquished. Time Wizard, what is this? Oh, Legendary Fisherman. I couldn't see the guy up there. We have the uh, Mass Beast, Death Guardius, and Jax Knight. So I think I got most of those. I might have missed that one just because I don't remember the exact name. But okay, let's get that out. I know, just naming cards. It's very fun. Okay, let's see what else is this. Wow, this box is really cool looking. Uh, this, this is, well, it's kind of like the Megatons in that it just puts pictures in boxes, but it, for some reason, looks better. The Megatons just looked really goofy. At least this is a different color and stuff. Uh, yeah, I still like it, though. I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's see what's inside. Open this thing up. Very sweet presentation here. Oh, look at this. Wait, what? It's in a box. Okay, that's really cool. It's like a very similar to Rarity Collection box. Uh, it's like that kind of tall vertical box versus the horizontal like we normally have in the US. That's really cool. So I guess there's nine packs in here maybe. See if I can find any numbers. Yeah, there we go. There's the nine. So nine packs in there. It's called a special pack. So that's, that's pretty nice. Let's see what else you get. I know you get some other stuff in these boxes, but last time they didn't bundle them up like that. They just had them in this like one wrap. So are the pro, where's the promo? Are there promos? There's gotta be a promo, right? Maybe there's not a promo actually. So Konami does like to take away promos. Okay, there is a little flat. Maybe I'm supposed to grab that. That would help. Okay. Oh, what is this? There's some instructions. Instructions to do what? Uh fold up something by the way why was this here what is this for it's like a sleeve instructions to fold up and make a box i'm not totally sure what that is maybe that'll be it'll be more clear here in a second we have a okay uh what are these called a magnet case of it's not a screw down but it's similar to a screw down it's like a magnet that's cool and anything else any promos in here i don't know okay we got it out finally okay this is the thing with the instructions so there's not a promo in here that's kind of interesting so we have duelist name duelist so it's a deck box you build your own deck box interesting all right i would build this but we're gonna give this away so it'll be easier to ship in this shape so i'll keep it like this I'll let you guys have the fun of building it very cool it's a cool looking deck box i like the gold i think it looks really 
really nice. All right, I'm gonna set the box aside and let's get to the important part, the opening. So I guess there's no promo in this one compared to last time when they had the Egyptian God cards in quarter century or, Pri or Starlight, I guess at that point. Uh, this time it's a little different, but the potential of the Dark Magician Girl is gonna make this a pretty popular set, I think anyway. So let's see how we can do on the opening. You guys can win the open or all the cards, including that, uh, you know, screw down and all that stuff. Whatever that thing's called. Magnet hole. What do I, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name. So let's just see what we can get. So here are our packs. Very nice looking. We've got nine of them. Oh, wait, token pack. Maybe that's like kind of the, I'll start with a token pack. Let's see what we can get. Token pack OCG opening right here. I'm not sure what the options are for the token pack. We have, okay, that's a uh, person from the anime. I, I recognize him from Duel Links. I'm trying to remember. I've been grinding a little Duel Links. I feel like this is a, what's the one with pendulums? Okay, Arc V, right, is pendulums, and then Vrains is Links. That's right, so I think it's an Arc V character, I think. Never watched it. Wow, that looks amazing, actually. That shiny 25th anniversary looks really good. Yeah, this is definitely Arc V, because this dude is the main character from Arc V, right? I don't know his name. Is it uh, Yuya? Is it Yuya? I think it might be Yuya. I, I could be getting it mixed up with another character. I didn't watch Zexel and After, so I haven't seen Vrains. I haven't seen... Vrains is Playmaker, though, so I know that uh, Arc V is this guy, I think, which is Yuya. And then Zexel, I don't actually... I don't, Zexel's the one who has the, the little ghost guy with him, but I don't... What's his name? That might be Yuya. I'm gonna stick with Yuya as my guess. I can't remember. Uh, okay, oh, Jack Atlas. I know him. Very nice. And then Joey Wheeler. All right, so we got some some main characters. Wow, look at that. Prismatic Red Eyes Joey Wheeler token. That's kind of nice. All right, we're off to a good start. These are really cool cards. Quarter Century Duelist Pack. Let's see what we can get. First pack, we have nine. I don't know if that in was including that token pack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, no, it did include the token pack. That's cool. So let's see. Those are kind of the promos, I guess, the tokens. Which, you know, not as exciting as a god card, but still pretty cool. All right, Imperm, good to see you uh, yet again. We have Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. What is this card? Is that an Earthbound Immortal? That's what it looks like, but it's skinnier. I don't know what's going on there. We have a Sales Band. That's a secret. All right, good stuff right there. Sales Band secret. I, this, like, reminds me of a Rarity Collection pack, so I don't know if it's set up the same way. It's a Duelist pack, though, so I'm guessing it's not. But I haven't opened a lot of OCG in general. We've opened a couple of sets. We opened a Duelist Nexus core set. I don't know if the Dark Magician Girl is the only QCR, but if it is, I think we got a QCR. So fingers crossed, guys. You guys could win this. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, okay, I, I can't read the card, so I don't know these. Oh, Blackluster Soldier, the legendary swordsman or something. This guy was in Maze, I believe. Uh, Maze of Memories for us. Oh, it's not Dark Magician Girl. Okay, but it is Utopic Draco Future. F-Zero, Utopic Draco Future. This is a pretty good card. So that is super nice. Quarter Century Secret. Look, that thing is beautiful. That's awesome. And notice how on the OCG, you can actually see the name. On ours, you can't even read the names. Why can we not read the names on our QCR? It's like, let's get it to look like this. That'll be a lot better. Overall, pretty solid pull on the, what was that the second or second pack maybe? Yeah, second pack, wow. We are off to a good start, guys. If you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Let's see what we can get on the next pack. We have a Link Monster. We have a Trap Card. I don't know these. I know that one, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Check that out. Four cards per pack. Oh, and the Karibo guy. Is this a new Karibo? I think it is. The Flame Wingman Karibo? I think that's what this is. Flame Wingman Karibo. The Floribo. I don't know what his name is. All right, Flame Wingman Karibo. This is a really cool set. Well, are we getting this set? We're we getting the Quarter Century Duelist box? I doubt it. I doubt it. We got Rarity Collection, so they're probably like, you know what, English. English peeps, you're not getting anything for a long time. We have a circle. That is some sort of red eyes, it looks like. But uh, it's a different face. It might be like, it's like a mix of Curse of Dragon and red eyes. I don't know what that is, but it looks really amazing. That's really good artwork. There's the Flame Wing Man. Some sort of spell. Blasting uh, Dr. Crowler to, uh, to his death. Oh, an Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. All right, that's a pretty nice, uh, what do we call this? Prismatic Secret? I think they might have a different name for it in the OCG. Let's see if it's on the front. It's not like Rarity Collection where it tells you all the rarities because I'm, I'm guessing there's not as many in this one. Okay, 
Still five packs left, so we got we got some time here to pull something crazy. We already got in a quarter century. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we don't get anything else, but it might it might mean that we have Cosmic Cyclone. Are there any other high rarities in here? We have Splash Mage. I know that one from playing. What deck was that that I played? Uh, some sort of link deck uh, in Duel Links, and I can't remember which one it was, but I played this for a little bit. We have the uh, I don't know this guy. Not sure which one this is. And oh, the bug. Max C, the maximum of C has been pulled already. That is a prismatic secret version. Okay, Max C, if you, you are not on the ban list in the OCG, so it would be playable. That's why they actually print it there because they can actually use it. Yeah, I'll pass on using Max C though. No, thank you. Uh, Master Duel was enough for me. Quarter Century Duelist box. Let's see, four packs left. So far, from pretty amazing cards in here. Usually when we get duelist packs, it's just a bunch of crappy cards because they have they like base them all around the duelist. They have to be from that duelist or from something else. There's another Maxi. And that's hard to do. That you know, have a full set on that. We have Saruja, the Skull Dread. The Stardust Synchron. I'm three for three on this pack. Final card. What will it be? Oh, is this the new blue eyes? Okay, this is a mixture of Blue Eyes Ultimate and I think Dark Magician of Black Chaos. I think it's Magician of Black Chaos up there. Check that out. I think. Is that Magician of Black Chaos? It looks like him. So, Magician of Black Chaos and Blue Eyes Ultimate mixed together. I mean, that's going to be hard to beat. That's a really cool card. If the, I'm sure this gets a quarter century, right? If this does, that's amazing. What an awesome card right there. This set has some really cool cards and of course we've never seen some of them because they're new and they're coming into the ocg first of course most cards do but some are tcg exclusive etc three packs left dino wrestle panker tops it's up to two on the ban list yeah i know pretty crazy it's probably gonna be a three at some point we have uh i think this name's like barricade blocker or something like that uh is this the arc supreme king arc v arc arc z or something i can't remember what it is Oh, another Utopic Draco Future. So this is the secret version. We already got the Quarter Century, so this is not that exciting. You know, it's just the regular secret version. But still, I'll take it. These cards look so much better. Even our awesome new rarities look really good. They can't compare. OCG, just something about the print quality is really good. Two packs left. Quarter Century. Can we pull it? Let's go. Quarter Century Secret. We have Ash Blossom. We have the Black Luster Soldier. Soldier of Chaos. The Excel Stardust Synchro, no, Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon or something like that. It's a big card out of, I think this is in Maze, maybe. I think it's like a $40 Ultra. And, oh, the Illusion of Chaos. All right, that's a beautiful one as well. Illusion of Chaos came in Battles of Chaos for us, who had a Starlight print. I have a PSA 10 of that. It's a really nice looking card, even in the TCG. Yeah, I say even in the TCG because TCG can some, sometimes mess up cards, but it looks really good. Either way, just the blue on that card looks great. Last pack magic, guys. You guys can win all these cards. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Pretty awesome opening. Shout out to Yugi Market yet again for sending us some awesome boxes. It's fun to open these OCG packs and see because we don't get everything the OCG gets, even though recently we have been getting more stuff over in the TCG. Uh, we've got some cool stuff, but not everything. So it's cool to see uh, this opened and get to open it. We have Ghost Bell. Let's see what we can get in the last pack. This is... Dim Why do I always want to call him Dimensional? Dimension Shifter. There we go. Uh, that is some sort of Flame Swordsman thing, I think. But he's only 500 attack, so it feels like Flame Swordsman support. I'm not totally sure. And the final card of the opening. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Here we go. Oh, is this Santa Claus? <laughs> Santa Claus is good to see you, Santa Clausy. You're in the pack. Okay, it's past Christmas. I'm not seeing any more Christmas. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DN, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Unatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.